my name is Dr. Tamara Kolev, and I am a um, gynecologist here at Mount Sinai. I did my surgery in minimally invasive surgery, so I specialize in gynecology and female surgery. So that is an excellent question, and there are several reasons that women may spot between periods. So to take a look at it, you have to divide it into sort of structural uh, pathology. So such things as fibroids, polyps, um, a condition called adenomyosis, all of which is most likely benign. You also, there's certain instances where certain cancers can cause spotting between periods. You also have to look at some, you know, non-structural pathology, such as uh, ovulatory dysfunction, certain medications, um, diff different disorders as far as bleeding or medical problems such as thyroid disease. So if you have an irregular period once or twice, then that can be within the normal spectrum. However, if you notice that you're continually having irregular periods, then it's better to have them evaluated. Yes, birth controls can definitely impact your period. There are different kinds of birth control. When we talk about the oral birth control, often that's referring to estrogen and progesterone, and that often will regulate your periods. Sometimes you may not get a period with it, and that can be okay too. There's also a, a birth control that's progesterone only, and that one can also cause your periods to be a lot lighter. You may not even experience periods, Sometimes you may get some irregular spotting with those birth controls. So excessive alcohol consumption can affect your period because it can lead to different levels and impact your hormone levels, which can impact your periods. Um, and smoking as well as there has been an association with smoking and premenopausal symptoms. Yes, actually, exercise can help um, regulate your periods, and it can also help with such things like menstrual pain, cramps, mood disturbance, and because when you exercise, you release certain hormones such as endorphins and serotonins, which can help to contribute to that. However, on the opposite end, if there is excessive, uh, uh, excessive excuse me, exercise, it can lead to missed periods because the body needs a certain amount of body fat in order to produce estrogen and maintain the hormonal balance that's required to have normal periods. It kind of falls along the same spectrum as exercise. If you have excessive weight gain or weight loss, they can affect your periods pretty much due to the same reasons as exercise. Again, if you're not getting enough uh, calories and nutrients that are needed to maintain a healthy hormonal balance and produce enough estrogen, that your periods may become irregular and you may skip your, skip your periods. On the contrary, there is some growing evidence actually that um, diets that are rich in omega-3 fatty acids, such as fish, calcium, and vitamin D, as well as those that are low in fat, salt, and caffeine may actually reduce some troublesome PMS syndrome. So there, in that aspect, it can also affect your periods. Additionally, avoiding salt can help with fluid retention, some of the bloating that is associated with periods. There are some vitamins such as vitamin D that can help to regulate your periods if there is a deficiency in vitamin D. So when the body is under stress, it leads to overproduction of certain stress hormones. And that can, again, everything goes back to that whole hormonal balance. So if you have something that affects the hormonal balance, that will thus in turn affect your periods. Yes, yeah, so as you get older and you approach menopause, your periods will likely start to spread apart, become less regular and more spread apart. They also may become a lot lighter. If you do notice, on the other hand, that your periods are getting heavier or more frequent, then it's important to have that evaluated. 
So yes, because lack of sleep can affect, again, this falls back on the spectrum with the stress hormones and it also affects melatonin, which can definitely impact your period. Well, if it's truly your, preg your period, then no, you cannot get pregnant during your period because you won't be ovulating. However, if you've been having irregular bleeding and you're not sure if this is bleeding between periods versus periods, and you may not actually be on your real period, but could be ovulating, then you could get pregnant. But if you have regular cycles and this is truly your period, then you will not get, be able to get pregnant because again, you won't be ovulating. So if women are deficient in iron, they can be, um, and that could be due to malabsorption or other areas, it may impact the blood flow, which can impact your period. And on the other hand, if you have heavy periods, that may actually lead uh, due to the blood loss to low iron levels. Yeah, basically your period and a, and a woman's period is indicative of their overall health and their overall um, balance with the, with the hormone, within their hormones. So if you notice you have an, an irregular period here or there, that's okay. But if not, and you notice that they're, they are becoming more irregular, then it's important to figure out the underlying reason um, so that you can fix that and your body can be back in balance.